This is a bare bones systems that is under $200, but there's one catch, you gotta build it yourself. And what we're gonna be doing is taking it and building an awesome $750 gaming PC featuring an RTX 4060 that'll be good for 1440p gaming without taking up much space on your desk. Don't believe us? Stay tuned after a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Cooler Master and some of their new products we love using. The Master Liquid Atmos Cooler perfectly combines aesthetics and functionality, creating an exceptionally silent and high performance CPU liquid cooler perfect for any system. And if you're in the market for for a sleek new case, check out the Cooler Master Cube 500 flat pack. It's a high airflow mid tower ATX gaming PC case that provides a fun and flexible building experience. You get to build it yourself. Lastly, every system needs a capable power supply and the Cooler Master GX3 Gold 850W is perfect for filling that role. It features exceptional efficiency, low noise output, and superb reliability. And if that's not enough wattage for you, they even have other models ranging up to 1250W. If you're interested in learning more or in entering a giveaway to win some of these awesome products, check out the links in the description down below. Big thanks again to Cooler Master for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get back to it. Guys, it's time to meet the desk meet. This right here is what we call a bare bones PC, meaning it's not ready to go out of the box. You actually have to do some work. You have to buy some extra parts, so bear with us. So this is the exact model, DeskMeet X300WB. And this one is an AMD platform. We actually did one of these a long time ago, but it was Intel, so we're switching it up and doing AMD now because, you know, normally if you wanted to build a 5000 series system, you're gonna spend, I'd say about, 60 on a case, like a cheap MicroTix case, you're gonna spend probably about 70 to 100 on a motherboard, and then you gotta buy a power supply too, which you're probably gonna spend another, at the minimum, $45 for, which is obviously more than this $189 platform that comes with a motherboard installed, a power supply, and a case. And speaking of the power supply, it is literally just sitting down in here because you actually have to install the CPU and you know the cooler and all the other stuff before you put the power supply in or else you won't be able to do that. The front of it, it's pretty sleek. It honestly looks just like a really cute little mini ITX case. You got a big power button up here. Uh, you have a combo headphone jack, USB-C, two USB-3s, USB be two and then you know whatever motherboard they include in the back you could run it as an apu system by getting like something a 5600g if you wanted to but we're gonna be actually maxing this thing out by putting a really good cpu and a really good gpu inside of it now the only downside we have to mention with this platform is that it is limited to gen 3 there is no gen 4 support so we'll have to see how that will impact the performance of this system now the cpu that's going inside of this thing is the ryzen 5 5600 six core 12 threaded processor that's absolutely awesome and is readily available and will work really well with this motherboard. Now, we are gonna experiment a little bit outside of using the stock cooler this thing comes with by using this Thermalrite low profile CPU cooler. Now, we may or may not use this. There's a chance we go back to the Wraith Stealth cooler, but I got it because the 5600 is kind of pushed to the limits with the Wraith Stealth cooler that is included. So I thought, let's get a little low profile cooler that, as you can see, look at this thing, it's kind of cute. It has a bigger heat sink, so in theory, we'll be able to dissipate heat a bit better and it's nice and low profile. I didn't want to go with anything much bigger than this because this is a very compact case. I didn't know what the clearance was, would be like, so I went with this. And this should give us better temperatures if we can get it installed, that's a big if. Now for the RAM, we went with this Team Group T-Create DDR4 memory, 3200 megahertz. Yeah, 3200 megahertz, 32 gigabytes because RAM is just so affordable right now. And having a compact build with 32 gigabytes is pretty easy to do and without breaking the bank. And now we also have a Gen 4 SSD. This is the ADATA Legend 800 1 terabyte Gen 4 NVMe SSD. We spent $49 on this SSD, by the way. So it's really cool we were able to fit it into this build. And for the graphics card, what we have right here is the Zotac Solo RTX 4060. Solo meaning it has a single fan, which I wanted to go for for this very compact build. We built a very small 4060 PC here on the channel just recently. And honestly, if everything works out right with this desk meet, this will be a much better price performance offering. But I'm excited to see how the 4060 and the 5600 pair inside this very compact case. Will there be temperature issues? Will this thing run nice and cool. We're going to put it together and find out.
All right, guys, we are playing the finals, which uh, this is a first here. Um, but I've been playing at home a little bit, so I'll hopefully not totally lose this. I, I can't, I was going to show you guys the settings, <laughs> but you know. The ultra rares, let's get it. It won't let me press escape. All right, I got to be quick with this, guys. I got to help my team. So right now we are using DLSS because we have 4060. We kind of need to use that so we can get our full uh, range out of it. But high settings, we are doing high to try to make this look good for DLSS. And 190 to 200 FPS, nice. I... <laughs> Did you just follow your teammate? I, yep. Your teammate baited you into that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, we're off to a good start. Clear. That's pretty, what? <laughs> I feel like some of those should have hit. Oh! Okay, these guys are getting ready to start the cash out, so we'll see if we can steal this in here. Oh, you! Bing, bing, bing! Where are you going? Oh. No shot. Yeah. Like this guy. What? No oh. shot. Oh. Oh! <laughs> hey! Holy gotta, crap. I saved. All right, so we're stealing the cash out, and then we got to protect it for however amount of time that is. <laughs> Ow, I'm on fire. That guy just directly hit me with it. Teammate, you're back. Oh, they're stealing our cash out. No! Oh, they stole it. Get it back. Get it back. <laughs> what? Oh, it actually got him. It went through the wall. He ran right into my trap. Don't worry. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Oh, God. Someone came to visit you. <laughs> Got him though. Aww. That dude ate my bullets. Oh. We're on the same page here. God. Be like on a different floor. Oh, there goes the heavy destroying everything. Oh, look, he pushed our teammate through the floor. Oh no. Oh, we got the we got the doorway dude. Uh oh, uh oh, here comes Abby. Oh, he's trying to he's just trying to take uh, it. Oh, we won. Let's go. Yeah, nice switch up. The finals running good so far. Let's move on to another game. Let's do it. All right, gamers. We are now in Fortnite on performance settings. We locked the FPS to 240. I don't imagine we're gonna get there, but far be distance, low textures, low meshes, and we are in ranked no build, which is gonna be something else. Oh, dude, the textures are going yeah, crazy. This, this part of the map is always broken. Hmm. I don't know, they just haven't updated it or what. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Hello, that's a, that's a real playa. Now, fun fact, guys, there actually is still some bots in ranked. There I are. I think that was real. The other thing I realized really quick about Fortnite is if you don't have, like, shields, you die so fast. Like that. Like that guy with the regen, I mean, yep. Bop, bop, bop. They are a sliver of health. Yep, that was... It's a game plan. Mmm. Oh, really? <laughs> what a classic approach to this game. <laughs> Dang, they, they thought they could just pull that thing out. <laughs> oh, where did I just drop into? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I found the enemy. Man, those AI are really distracting. It's like, can't even tell you're shooting at. Get, oh, there's the AI boss. Ah! <laughs> Please! Ooh. Oh! Yeah, I got a medallion. And a gold gun. That's a hyper SMG, so let's swap out this. Oh, hey. So get over here. Get over here, boy. Oh, there you are. Oh. Oh! Oh, he wants that medallion bad. Oh, he oh, wants that thing. Wow! Ooh. Dang, what did that medallion bad? But hey, Fortnite runs really good right now. Let's see, what do we what do we go up to? Did our rank rise, ladies and gentlemen? Look at all my points. My bad definitely risen. It's gonna get to a point, guys. You're gonna see the progression here. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Level up, level up. Oh, oh. almost level up. Um, where we're gonna get high and then I'm just gonna <laughs> fall down slowly. But hey, it's running great. Let's run 3D Mark uh, Time Spy to show you guys how this compares to other PCs we've been here on the channel and then wrap this video up real quick. 
All right, guys, we just got done building and then benchmarking this little desk meet PC. And it was really fun to build and really simple, very easy, I think even for people who have never built a PC at home. And on top of that, we got some pretty good temps. And the fact that we were able to play a brand new game that just came out, like the finals, which is kind of like an eSports, almost AAA-esque title, especially if you bump up the settings, we were able to get almost 200 FPS most of the time. Yeah, and in Fortnite, we had no problems whatsoever. 1080p performance settings, which for you competitive gamers out there, you can see what the maximum potential is of this thing, but I was incredibly impressed with the temperatures of the system. Going with that aftermarket cooler did help with the 5600. We were maxing out at 80 degrees Celsius. With a raised stealth, it probably would have been like in the higher 80s, so if you're someone who really cares about temperatures, getting that low-profile cooler was a good addition, but in terms of 3D Mark Time Spy, we ended up with a score of 10,113, which for comparison purposes to that Walmart computer we got with a 4060 and i5-13400F, that got a score of 10,670. So in terms of the point difference between those two, I think this is a really good value for the money at $750, especially for small foreign factor because those builds tend to be very expensive. So if you wanna build this PC yourself, check those links in the description down below. They will be affiliate links and they will help us out. Let us know what you think of the desk meet. And if you picked one of these up before, let us know down below because I think at the price point, it's really awesome for the money. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toastybros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hey, we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Guys, guys, gaming PC, it'll be for sale at PCBros.tech. Please check it out, check, check, check it out, check it out. Check, 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 for December, 7 to 5, 5% off. You can buy this PC or many other PCs. We just put a 4091 on the website too. It might be gone by the time mm -hmm. you see this video, but go to the website, 5% off, 7 to 5. See you guys later. Goodbye.